Okay, let's continue reading. So, um, I'm reading. So, since we don't have such a survey, right, we don't know what people feel about economics versus other sciences. So we don't so since we don't have such a survey, we may look at any other field of science such as physics, chemistry, biology, psychology or sociology. In these fields, there seems to be much more of a consensus or consensus on the field's main tenets. I think the word is tenets, beliefs. Tenet. Principle, yeah, tenets. So there seems to be much more of a consensus in other fields. Like in physics, you talk to two physicists, you basically get the same, you know, you, you'll get the same story from, from each one. There, there isn't, there aren't great disagreements, at least not ones that come to the public. I, I'm, and even if there are, you know, once in a while you get like, like once in a while there are great disagreements and they, they're very deep, very um, emotional. But, but in, yeah, you could say that in the beginning of quantum physics there was a lot of uh, emotion. But today in quantum physics there's 5,000 quantum physicists in CERN, in France, and Switzerland, on the border, and uh, and and all all of them, five thousand signed one paper on the discovery of the Higgs boson. Five thousand are in complete unison on on something. In, on, on, on a new discovery. So that, that's an amazing consensus. Let's continue. So if we compare these classical fields, the same goes for biology and, and other fields, as far as I know. So if we compare these classical fields, fields consensus, like physics, to the consensus in the field of economics, we might find, again, we might, because <laughs> I've never seen a paper. These are all great ideas for papers. Papers, you know, scientific papers about science. So we might, it's a meta-scientific paper. We might find out that the variety amongst economists is much wider, meaning there is less consensus. So wide that the ideological contentions among economists are much more reminiscent of the religious ideological wars than that of scientific deliberations. What I'm getting at is that um, economics feels more like a religion, or feels more like more more like what we feel religions used to be like, uh, more than modern, what we conceive is a normal behavior of, behavior of a modern science. It's like 
the field of economics is unstable. It's like, it's like in its infancy, th there is a lot of disagreement. There is lack of consensus. There is a, an enormous variation and variety. <clears throat> but it's very um, and, and it's very emotional and deeply seated. This is unlike, I would say, any other science. This, this is a complete breakaway from all other sciences. So the science of economics behaves differently. So, so this is a phenomena or a phenomenon. This is something that we uh, draws our curiosity why is economics behaving so so diff so so bizarrely okay let's continue to the next paragraph so the title is what's wrong with economics all right so the religious wars seem to us in the modern western world to be lunacy. People arguing over non-facts, unsupported data, counterintuitive claims, and sheer lies. But why? That, that's, that's how we perceive re religions, what religions used to be like. I'm assuming that today, the religions of today are much weaker than the religions of past, of the past. Even though religion is making a comeback for Malthusian reasons, but we'll come back to that. All right. But why then? Are economists regressing into such savagery, right? The behavior of economists is, is like something that we would define as savage. We look at the Middle Ages, uh, the, burning of, uh, the burning of witches, whatever. Uh, the, 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 ve the vehement disagreements the 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 passionate disagreements that that used to exist between religions we would consider this uh, basically savage this is this is uncivilized un, uncultivated why would you why would you disagree with someone Based on what? It doesn't make any sense. What the, the disagreements of religions? This is something that we can that, that we cannot figure out. Why would this group believe in something and another group believe in something else? But there is no there is no uh, clear logic. There is no almost no logic at all. I mean. The two groups are seemingly just as correct or incorrect. Why have a disagreement? <sighs> okay, so, but why then are economists regressing into such savagery? <clears throat> Surely the scientific method ought to rescue us from extreme disagreements. Extreme disagreements are supposed to be something of the past. How could you have an extreme disagreement? Whatever data you have available that's producing your conclusion, present it to your, your foe your scientific foe, and assuming everyone has the same logic, they should come to the same conclusion as you. So extreme disagreements are, are in, in contradiction 
to to logic. So surely the scientific method ought to rescue us from extreme disagreements. Mild disagreements, that's okay, because, you know, not everyone has uh, had the same look on all the data. Maybe somebody missed something. Maybe somebody didn't um, intern, intern, internal, internalized, internalized. Hasn't really taken some of the data in, maybe, you know, the mild disagreements could occur, that, that makes sense, but extreme disagreements? It doesn't make sense. Should not the scientific method put to rest, or at least dampen, the severe oscillations of opinions and their accompanying conviction? Right? The scientific method should either put to rest or dampen severe oscillations of opinions. I mean, with this guy has this opinion, that guy has that opinion. That's what I consider an oscillation of opinions. That, that should, uh, should be dampened. Right? The oscillation should be smaller. Why is the science of economics behaving more like a clan clash rather than a scientific field with a variety of innovative ideas. What's wrong with economics? And th that's basically what I wanted to read today. So we, we conclude with the question. Uh, let's just read the last sentence again. Why is the science of economics behaving more like a clan clash rather than a scientific field with a variety of innovative ideas? It's okay to have variety and innovative ideas and, and everything is fantastic. But when two economists, I'm, I'm, I'm all the time I'm listening to economists, it's, it's, they're ready to kill each other. The disagreement is phenomenal. It's, it's like politics. I wouldn't even say it's like political science. It's just like politics. In politics, you see, or, or in families, in family feuds, or in religions, you see this, this wild disagreement people are very upset at each other this is true for economics this is true for uh, politics and this is true for religion basically I think these three that's where you find today behavior that doesn't make sense and 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 in this book, or even in the next couple of um, discussions, we're going to solve this. Um, we're going to solve these three equations and show that really it's one equation, and we're going to demonstrate the solution to this equation. Right? I'm treating, I'm treating the, the, this, these questions as a mathematical enigma that I want to crack. So, basically, what's wrong with economics? And if we can answer what's also wrong with politics and what's also wrong with religion, or why are there religions? So, it would be very nice. And, and these three ideas, they somehow, it makes sense that they should go together. And, and we'll demonstrate that really are three sides of the same coin. Okay, so I'm going to stop here.